Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to What You Want. Thanks for logging on. If you're David Bowie, avert your eyes. But don't be afraid of Americans, because this Vacheron Constantin Historique's American 1921 might just be the perfect tribute watch. Re originally released in 2008 as part of the Le Historique tribute collection within Vacheron Constantin's catalog, this model caught fire like nothing else. Now, the Lace Historique was not new to Vacheron, but this model in particular captured the public and collector's imagination like none of the previous editions, and it's easy to see why. This watch is Vacheron Constantin, evocative of their history, evocative of a beautiful time period, of a romanticized time period, also beautifully executed and standing on its own as a modern classic. This watch the Historique American 1921, reference 82035, again, just might be the perfect Vacheron and the ideal dress watch. So let's put it on the wrist and get a sense of why it is this watch is so charismatic. First and foremost, you can see that this is not your average pretty face. A pretty face it is, but it's a little bit off-center, it's a little bit unconventional, and this is by design. Now, there are two aspects that inform the design of this watch. First, first and foremost, historical precedent. Now, there were 1919 and 1921 editions of the so-called American. Uh, this model actually pulls the dial design from that first 31 millimeter 1919 reference, and you see the train track or sector chapter ring around the hour track. You see the Breguet numerals. You see the miniaturized microcosm sector dial on the constant seconds subdial. But where this one departs from the 1919 is the design of the case. Now, whereas the 1919 had its case canted off to the left at 11 o'clock, right there, basically, the 1921 shifted it over to the 1 o'clock station, which is the arrangement that you see here. Now, this one differs from both of those in that the small seconds is actually located at the 3 o'clock station on the dial itself, whereas previously the movement, which was based on an older pendant watch, would have been located right where you see the Breguet 6 on this watch. So it combines a little bit of two historic references with a modern concession to the fact that this is based on a contemporary Vacheron Constantin caliber 4500 in-house manual wind movement. But that's wonderful because it blends the history as well as having an identity in its own right. We'll get back to the history and the technology in a moment, but let's just talk about pure fit and finish. It is seamless, it is flawless. The cushion case, 40 millimeters in this modern edition, because 31 is a little bit spare, even by tribute vintage uh, reference standards. 40 millimeters feels just about right. Under 10 millimeters thick, it sits beautifully flat on the wrist. Now my wrist is six and a third inches, 16 centimeters, and so it hews very close to the skin. The lugs are short, beautifully rendered. Uh, the fit and finish, I should mention, is actually to 2012 Poisson de Genève standards. So you can see the watch actually features the Geneva hallmark on the case itself. And that's because recognizing that Patek Philippe's Patek Philippe seal boasts of applying to the entirety of the watch, Geneva seal raised its game and along with Vacheron Constantin basically rewrote the rules to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Patek in terms of finishing standards. So we're now taking the totality of the cased-up watch into account when awarding the Poinçon de Genève or the Geneva stamp. And that includes everything from cased-up timing to cased-up water resistance. So it's a comprehensive standard now. It's not just about movement finish. That's why when I talk about the finishing of the case, these are no idle words. This applies to an objective standard and, you know, the legendary Poinçon de Genève finishing standards that apply to movements now apply equally to the case, fit, finish, and presentation. The dial is gorgeous. Again, a reference to the 1919 version of this watch, which was altogether more delicately detailed than the later, somewhat bolder, somewhat more roaring 20s inflected variant of the watch. The Breguet numerals really stand out here. Black oxidized hands, they are gold, but black oxidized, so they complement the printed sector track and the Breguet numerals perfectly. The one instance of rose gold is perfectly chosen, judiciously applied. The Maltese cross at 12 o'clock adds elegance to the watch and beautifully sets off the dial against the rose gold of the case and the beautiful brown alligator strap. The perfect accent, if you were going to use just one splash 
of colored gold on that dial, that is the place to do it. And you'll notice that Vacheron hasn't got caught up in the super graphics movement that's afflicted the watch industry in recent years. The Vacheron Constantin Genève Marquis at 12 o'clock is beautifully small, discreet, just enough, perfectly adequate, nothing more. This is a watch that does not need to boast. Now moving on to the case back itself, this is equally the main event. Now whereas the original inspirations from 1921 and 1919, which I should mention, were only built in total approximately 24 copies, 12 of the first, 12 of the second. This watch features a level of watchmaking, I, I want to say almost virtuosity, that was unknown to those early references. Now this watch features the 4500 caliber developed in-house by Vacheron Constantin under development for four years before it was released in this 2008 model. It features Geneva Hallmark fit and finish as well as a 65 hour power reserve. Now if you go online you will see that no less an authority than Carrie Voudelainen, the renowned independent manufacturer, the award-winning independent watchmaker, has personally inspected this movement and written a long online forum treatise on his specific impressions, all of which were overwhelmingly positive. That's the kind of third-party endorsement that you can't buy, and yet this caliber 4500 movement has earned it. Everything that makes a Geneva seal movement special is present and accounted. Gorgeous, Geneva waves across all bridges, beautiful anglage, mirror polished, down to the 20 power loop level, this watch reveals no warts. As you get closer, it becomes more impressive. A very stable regulating organ with a Triovis micro adjuster, exceptionally easy to regulate, also exceptionally precise. These watches have been known to be tuned to even plus one, plus two seconds per day. Chronometer standard or better, that's the new Geneva seal. Everything about the way the wheels are circular grained to the way all the screw slots are camfered and their heads polished bespeaks quality. It's not just a watch that pays deference to Geneva Seal tradition. It's a watch that represents the latest developments. It is the tip of the sphere. It is that man walking erect at the long evolutionary silhouette line you see in that famed illustration. This is the latest and in many respects the greatest, embodying all the progress that's been made since the 1886 establishment of the Poinçon de Genève. If you've fallen in love with the finishing of Patek Philippe, Alanga Unsuna in the modern era, many of the independents from Philippe Dufour to Voudelain and himself, you need to see what Vacheron Constantin is doing because perhaps no mainstream manufacturer has done more to advance the standards of Geneva watchmaking in the modern era including the Poinçon de Genève regulations themselves than Vacheron. They even run an in-house school teaching finishing because when they sought to raise their game in the early 2000s, they found that no one was training finishers. The specialized technicians who build and finish each part, no one was training them to their standards. All of that work is reflected in the American 1921 and its caliber 4500 movement. Again, with a nice long 65 hour power reserve, if you are a collector, you can take this one off the wrist for a day or two, not worry about it winding down. But why would you ever want to? Short of sports duty, the pool, the beach, you know, rough and tumble play, this is one you would never want to take off. Beautifully discreet, modest in its size, but colossal in its visual presence, this watch is the definition of charisma. It is the definition of Vacheron Constantin, and it is available from what you want with all original Vacheron Constantin manufacturer packaging, manuals, paperwork, and accessories. Again, with only 24 of the original made, there was definitely a collector demand for some way to obtain this watch, and to this day, it remains a rarity. Already regarded as a modern classic, and a contemporary hit for Vacheron Constantin, it remains one of their most intriguing and distinctive models. For a company that doesn't have a clear-cut icon model, the way Patek Philippe has the Calatrava and the Nautilus, or Audemars Piguet has the Royal Oak and the Royal Oak Offshore, I would say that Vacheron just might be building its house around the Les Historiques collection. And if there's just one model in that catalog that's definitive of the brand, iconic of the brand, the face of Vacheron. It is the Vacheron Constantin Historique American 1921, reference 82035. See it at our website, Watch You Want.